Hi, and welcome to another five minute tip. In this tip, we're gonna be looking at color bleed that can be introduced when we use global illumination and how to control that. It's a very simple tip, but I thought of it and I figured it might be useful to someone. In this scene, I have a room that I've modeled with a few simple pieces of geometry in it. Uh, there's an area light in the ceiling and there's a camera right here, which I'm going to click into. If I were to render this scene, nothing special really, just a little bit of light, a lot of shadows, I'm using area shadows. But when I turn global illumination on, I set up a few simple settings for my GI, I have not tweak the uh, appearance much, just the speed it renders at. When I render, what we're going to see is color bleed. So we have a lot of red up here from the red ball. We have a lot of green down here from the green cube. So color bleed is just one of the characteristics of GI. It's not necessarily bad, but there might be some instances where you don't want the color bleed. And the point of this tutorial is just to show you guys how to adjust that. So as a base reference, what I'm going to do is render the scene to the picture viewer. So we have a nice base comparison for the rest of our tweaks. Now there's really not much to this, so I'll just jump right into it. In each material, in this case, we're looking at the red material, there's an illumination tab. There's a few strange looking settings here. Well, one of them pertains to generation and receiving of GI. So in the receive GI, you can actually uncheck that box. And if there's other elements in the scene projecting a lot of global illumination data, the red material is going to ignore it. We can also change the generation of GI. So when the light hits the red ball, it scatters and it actually creates a red light because the uh, that's just the way the model works in physics. And what we can do here is we can change the strength and the saturation. So if we wanted that intensity to still exist, but the saturation to be zero, we can just enter zero. Now when we render, the scene is going to look exactly the same with one difference. The red ball is not going to create a red color cast. And we can see that really clearly because it is subtle, but we can see that really clearly if we toggle between these two images. The first image right here has a lot of red in it, and the second image has none but the brightness levels are pretty much the same. If we were to do the same thing with the green material, change the saturation down to zero, render the scene one more time. We now have the same illumination once more, but no red, no green, just a uniform illumination. Now this might be useful if maybe you're working with a scene and the sky is making things too blue, or one of your materials is turning the entire room yellow just because it's getting a lot of light falling on it. While this may be realistic, it might not be aesthetically pleasing. So this is just one way that you can dial those values down. It is worth mentioning that you can actually turn those values up. For instance, I can make this 500. And when I render again, there is an amplification of the green color bleed. Now again, this is a, an attractive property of global illumination, and you can use it to accentuate certain atmospheric effects or remove them. Just to show another quick example, if we were to create a torus, I'm just gonna to go to my multi-view here so I can position it easily. 
and place this torus in the corner of the room right here. And then we give this torus a electric blue material, but not in the color channel, in the luminance channel. What this is going to do is cause it to glow blue. It's a really simple GI. So it's glowing blue and it's creating a lot of blue light in the corner of the room. The effect of it might be a bit stronger than the red or the green, just because it's actually emitting light. You can see like just how blue it's making that corner. If you wanted that blue luminance, but you didn't necessarily want the blue color cast. Look at the difference that it makes. You can turn the saturation of the generation down to zero. The result is the same illumination but none of the color cast. Likewise, here in the strength, so if, if I were to change this back to 100, so it's generating full saturation, we can also change the strengths. We can turn the strength up to 1,000 if we wanted. In which case, this material, this blue material, is going to emit a lot of global illumination. So, it's a really simple control. I'm hoping that a lot of folks already know about it, but if you've never stumbled upon this control and you're experimenting with GI, I hope you can find a good use for this. So, until next time, see ya.